Good afternoon, everyone. I'm going to help out on some of the participation activities and challenge activities for um, the last C exercises for this um, chapter. Okay, so we're going to cover partici participation activity. I can't even talk today. <laughs> I've been recording some of the videos um, back to back um, while my internet is really smooth and cooperating with me <laughs> so this topic is about iterating through vectors and um, iterating through vectors using a loop is a commonplace and it is an important programming skill to master because vector indices are numbered from 0 to n minus 1 rather than 1 to n so programmers commonly use this loop for a structure and uh, when you look at um, some parts in there as an introduction you would be able to see um, an example that lets you iterate the loop and set it for specific values all right so let's try to answer some of the questions in here and it's asking to complete the code to print the elements for the given back vector using the above common loop structure so there's a given in here until um, 365 so remember this is like n minus 1 from what from 0 keep in mind from 0 to n minus 1 so this is going to give you what this is where's my cursor there you go there's i less than days list dot size there you go so let's try that so these are there you go valid elements are 0 to 364 when it reaches 365 the loop body does not execute okay so let's see in the second one given, given that this loop iterates um, over all items of the vector how many items are in the vector what do you think how many do we have in here so this one is 99 okay Let's check that so loop iterates from 0 to 98 so the vector has elements at indices 0 to 98 so that's 99 items because the zeroth element count as a one item so I know it can be tricky for that okay so moving forward let's try to answer some more activities I'm gonna let you simulate some in there so let's try to have your seven Point four, point two, because at least you know I can really help out on completing those and some of you are working so please make sure to watch the videos in here find the minimum element vector in vector vals uh, vals v counter so this one as long as this is what so there's a given temp val equals to vals uh, v counter dot et is zero. This one as long as this is temp, as long as this is temp val, okay? Because it stores the temp val. There you go. It stores the minimum seen if the vals v v counter dot et sub i is less than temporary vals current value. The variable is updated with the new minimum. After visiting all vector variables, the temp vals value will be the minimum of all the elements. Okay, so let's try to have your question number two. Find the sum of all elements in vector vals v counter. So this one, what do you think? This one is actually what? This is, this is zero. There you go. So it's actually initialized and that element is added to the val sum. Let's try this question. Count the number of negative valued elements in vector vals counter. So if, let me see. Uh, for i equals 0, i less than vals counter size. So, well, this one has to, this one has to be the num, the num neg plus 1 check okay so num neg or this one is initialized to zero and it's incremented each time a negative element is visited okay 
I'm going to skip you. You just have to simulate a couple of stuff in here. I'll try to um, help you out with certain questions while you are really simulating it. I, I Some of you gave me a comment that, you know, this is very helpful. I know you can always go check the answers, but this is also a check for me, like, an impromptu, you know, questions for this. And um, at least you would be able to feel that, you know, we may not see each other physically. You know that you can always rewatch the recorded videos that I am providing. So what do you think? The normal, um, the normal loop for loop structure iterates as long as I is less than or equal to my vector that size. What do you think? Actually, that is false. And let's see. The normal structure uses less than, not less than, equal to, because this one will cause uh, the loop to iterate outside the vector's valid index range. So 0 to n minus 1, right? So how about for the second one? This one, to compute the sum of elements, a reasonable statement preceding for loop is sum val equals 0. This is true. Now, for the third, to find the maximum value, um, a reasonable statement preceding the for loop is max val equals zero. This is actually, um, this is false. Okay, this one, zero would yield a wrong final max val if all element values were negative. A better statement would be max val equals my vector dot at sub zero. All right, let's try to, I'm going to skip 7.4.1. I believe this is a little bit easier for everybody to complete because this one, this is different. The, the numbers in here, when you simulate this one for each of the level, okay, it, it actually varies. So they're pulling out those numbers from each of the database. So even if I demonstrate this one, you might have a different value. So this is the only challenge activity that I would request everybody to do on their own since I will be assisting you anyway for a majority of the other questions. I would say the others that need simulation and the codes will make much more sense, right? So it's like 90% provide, I'm going to help you uh, provide for those and at least you have, you know, just one to kind of look into and do it on your own. So let's do 7.4.2 and it's asking for what? Um, assign num matches with the number of elements and user values that equal match value user values has num vals elements. Example, um, it has two 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 one two and all right your code will be tested with the following values uh match value two user values two two one two let me see what we have in here okay finding values and vectors so let's take a look what is missing in here so basically we need another loop in here to take a look at those user values itself and it checks if it match if it matches that value, right? That's what it's assign a match with a number and in user vals that equals match value. Okay, so let's do that. So let's start in here. Let me move this one and let me make my screen a little bit um, bigger. I hope that was just useful. You know what? Let me make sure that. I am also plugged in with my battery. The other time I was recording something and then I didn't realize that I didn't plug in. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let me just make sure that this is plugged in. I don't wanna overcharge my computer. So sometimes I just remove that. All right, there we go. So let's have a loop in here. I'll have num, so that was like the num matches that was given. Let's initialize that one to zero. And let's do a loop just to check if they match. I equals zero, zero, I less than user values that size, and then plus plus I, and then let me see. 
let's do your if inside because this one will allow us to check so if user values dot at matches or match value we'll have a c out in here or no let's assign let's increase that value our c out is actually outside already num matches equals num matches plus one all right let's close that and let's have another one all right let's just check let's just run that right away so that at least we can debug if it's not running completely okay awesome it all passed i hope you find that useful on your end and if you can see in here all the testing with inputs in here match values all right so let's see i'm gonna go through with that again so you can kind of take a look at that um and then let's go for 7.3 dot three. <coughs> all right write a for loop to populate vector <coughs> excuse me all right let's drink some water every single time i record videos like this you know my my husband was telling me you don't see anybody there but as if you're really teaching in front of them and i was like that's the way that's how it should be because i want you guys when you watch this one at least you would know that yeah you may not see me physically but at least i can help you go through and simulate for some of the the questions that you needed to complete uh because with this you know unprecedented times that we have with this the, the new normal that we have right now it would be it would be um overwhelming for some of you who are still working outside so this is one way for me to help out um write a for loop to populate vector user guesses with num guesses integers which is actually declared as three in there for the constant read integers using c in if num guesses is three and user enters nine five and two okay let's do that so i am not going to remove that comment that says your solution so that when you do your own and you're trying to really simulate that you would know where you should place your answer okay does, does that make sense so we need it says here that you need to have a for loop for that um and then what did it say read integers this is okay let's do read integers using c in so basically you need to have an input for that uh, vector okay how do we start um let's do four um let's do our i there equals zero uh i less than user guesses dot size and plus plus i close and then let's do a c in here user guesses dot at okay and then we need to close that okay did i even put um no see i forgot that brace here there you go let's try to run that because you have a c out already so this one allows you to have an input for that vector okay so i hope you find that useful i think we have one more one or two more let's try to have 7.4 so it's running fully oh actually no what did it say um Oh, okay, because I put C in. Uh, <laughs> this is C in. Let's run it again. Let's see. Let's see. Come on. All right. All test pass. Awesomeness. Let's have your 7.4. And what did it say? Vector test grades 
contains um, numvals test score, write a for loop that sets some extra to the total extra credit received. Full credit is 100, so anything over 100 is extra credit. If test grades 101, 83, 107, 90, then the sum extra is 8. Okay. So we have a given four. Let's see what do we have in here. All right, we need to assign some extra because that's given already to zero. Let's do a for loop for that. I equals zero test grades dot size plus plus I. And then, let me just move my cursor so you can see it. There you go. So let's do an if here. If test grades dot at i is greater than 100, right? Because it says that anything beyond that is extra. We'll do sum extra equals sum extra plus test grades dot at i minus 100. We're going to close that. Let's have one more. OK. Um, and then the other part will be just for um, basically for Mm, displaying it. So let's run that. All right. Let's see. <laughs> Test aborted. Why? M range terminate after throwing an in state of STD out of range, which is four. Uh, I have test read size, size I. What did it say? Any line? Hmm. Which is four. Some extra zero test grades that size plus plus I. If test grades uh, greater than a hundred. Some extra, some extra plus test reads dot at. Hmm. Am I missing anything? Let's run that again. Exit out of range. Huh. Why am I out of range? Am I missing anything? Right, let's double check what we have in here. Some parts are given already. So, some extra. I initialize that one to zero. And I have four. I equals zero test grades dot size and then plus plus I. Huh. If test grades dot at dot at Greater than 100. I have open, I have close. Why open, I close? Huh. Test aborted? That is so strange. <laughs> I don't see anything wrong on what I did. Some extra. All right, you know what? I'm going to skip, and then I'll go back, okay? 
I'm going to scroll instead of like cutting this video. I'm going to leave it as it is like that so that I can go to 7.4.5 and then we're going to try that again. Okay? <coughs> 7.4.5 printing vector elements separated by commas. Write a for loop to print all num vowels elements of vector hourly temp separate elements with a comma in space. If hourly temp 90, 92, 94, 95, so it's going to print. Okay, so it's just going to print. It should end on the last element. All right, let's do that. I think there should be, um, this should be pretty fast. And then we're going to go back to that video. So let's do, this is four, excuse me, I equals zero. I less than hourly temp, that size. And then plus plus I. All right. If I not equal to zero, let's close that. Let's do this. So let me just put a comment in there so that when you review, so this one is not first. So include separating comma and space. So I have the out and then I'll do um, close. I'll do a C out hourly temp so eighty I then semicolon and then close that. Okay. All right. Let's do that. Because I have the complete one here. All right. Beautiful. Wonderful. So I have all the tests passed in here. And testing input. Awesomeness. Alright, so let's go back to your 7.4.4. Where is it? That is driving me nuts. Okay. Let's see. What did it say? Let's run it again. All right, it's really not picking up. Okay, what do I have in here? It says some extra. What did it even say? It says what? Exited with return code. Oh, what is that? Terminate code after throwing an instance out of range. Which four greater than just four? Okay, let's do some check in here. So this is some extra. This is zero. Let's do four i equals zero. Test grades that size. This is plus plus I. I do have my if test grades dot eighty greater than a hundred. I have this one. I have some extra equals some extra plus test grades dot eighty minus a hundred. That should be complete. And I have the sum extra. Okay. Don't find anything wrong on it. All right. 
that is strange. Okay. You know what? Let me just hang on there. I will try to... Okay. My husband's laptop is on the other room, but I will leave it as is. Um, as far as I can analyze with this, this one should perfectly work, unless if I would start over. You know what? Just for, you know, I'm just going to remove that. I'm going to start over. I would, what? <laughs> I was just trying to do that sound, but anyway, so let's try some extra equals zero for that's i equals zero i less than test great that size that's i and then let's do open let's have our if here test great dot at oh this is i and then greater than 100 because anything beyond that is an extra credit. Sum extra equals sum extra plus test grades dot at. And this one minus 100. Close. Semicolon. Now let's close the first brace. Let's close the next brace. Right? Haha. -ha. Okay. Now we have more. Did I... What did I do? What did it say? Expected. Oh, okay. I'm missing a parenthesis in here. Let's run it again. Huh, that is so strange. <laughs> Tell me, guys, what's your feedback? But okay, all right, <laughs> those days, right? And you start to question maybe I kind of missed something that I typed a while ago, but hey, I'm resilient. We'll just try to be patient, but at least we were able to um, have that completed please do and i hope you appreciate some of this help to be able to complete your um, challenge activities i think that's the end of it because we were able to finish the the 7.4.5 all right i i apologize